Um, it was good, you know, I got a couple catches under my belt, so I mean, it's always good to get out there and get in, get in the game for a little bit, so. What's been like so far for you in camp? I know first game, you know, didn't get a lot of chances, and now it's building, I mean, you still feel like you're trying to find your role? Yeah, I think camp, I got, I got dinged up a little bit. Um, the first game, I didn't get there that much, and you know, a little bit more this game. So, uh, um, it's going well. I mean, I, I just like, I'm trying to take as many opportunities as I get, so. What's it been like with you and, and Chaz and you know, everybody else, Burroughs, and everyone can fight for playing time? Um, it's been well. I mean, we got a lot of packages, so all of us are getting in there. Pretty much equal amount of time Dallas getting the most. But um, it's going well. I mean, it's all competition. So. What do you bring to the table for your skill set? How does it fit this offense well? Um, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get open. I, I feel like I can get open a lot. Um, sometimes I can make plays down the field if that's what they want me to do. I'm pretty much doing wherever they put me, you know, that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. How long were you uh, dinged up for during camp? Did you miss a good portion of camp? Or? Yeah, it was like, I think it was about a week. Okay. So. How much did that hurt you, maybe in kind of falling behind some of the other guys? Yeah, I felt like that that hurt a little bit. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to make the best out of it. Whatever I can. It seems like, you know, everyone coming into this year, you were kind of one of the guys that people, you know, were looking at to, you know, maybe take a, the next jump, that step up this year. I mean, Obviously, it's only been two games, and you feel like there's still time for you to kind of develop that spot and, and kind of be the guy that you know, a lot of people think you can be. Yeah, I think that's going to come naturally. You know, people, people get hurt, people get dinged up a little bit here and there. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm still getting over. I'm still a little sore and stuff. But I mean, I'm I'm just trying to grind out there. So frustrating when when there was like clear opportunity possibly for you to have that oh, happen yeah. to you. Yeah, it was definitely frustrating. Right when that happened, I was upset because I knew it'd probably take a while, and I knew you know there was. Consequences of that, so I mean, it, it's all right though. You know, I'm gonna be out there. And I assume you're hurrying to try to get back to, or you want to get back as fast as you could. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying. You know, I'm in the training room, doing the best I can to get out there. But I, I'm pretty much, you know, a little bit better. I'm, I'm pretty much 100% now. What, what are you dealing with? It was my hip. I, I went up in there and landed on it really wrong. So I was out for a while. I think maybe lost, but I'm fine now. With all that competition for that for that other receiver spot, you know, how, how do you feel like guys that'll help you guys out in terms of you know getting more guys involved in the game? And I know that's that's been a topic these first two games is getting more guys involved in the offense. How do you think that might help you with that competition? I think it's going to help a lot. You know, there's a lot of I mean, a lot of people haven't seen Chaz before out there. The defense hasn't seen him, um, and really, me and Dallas haven't played that much last year either. So there's a lot of different guys getting thrown in there, and a lot of people that defense haven't seen. So that's that's always a good thing. How much do you need? you and, and some of you guys to step up because obviously with Jay getting a big workload and, and Matt and Shane, I mean, how, how much how much do you need some of you other guys to step up and take some of the you know pressure off of them? Yeah, I mean, we need to step up because those guys can only do so much. They're, they're going to get dinged up a little bit here and there. So that's really what we're trying to do is take the load off of them so they're not, not out there stressing too much, but we're obviously going to need them to carry a lot of the, a lot of weight. What's you know what's what's your career been like? You know, and obviously, you know, you know, there were some times where you got in early, but you know, the, it's been inconsistent in terms of the amount of playing time. Is that been frustrating, or how have you tried to how have you tried to internalize all that? Yeah, it is pretty frustrating. I mean, I'm really just out here trying to, you know, we got the coaches changes and different people coming in, and it's just really inconsistent. But I, I'm I'm just trying to make the best of the you know opportunities that I get. What do you like about Junior Adams uh, other than his shoe collection? His <laughs> shoe shoe collection, yeah, he's. Definitely got their shoes, but he's you know he's a really he's a really chill guy. You know he's easy to talk to, easy to he's got a lot of knowledge, so it's really easy and he can he can really explain stuff well down the field. He doesn't get too upset with us, you know. He just he just tells you what you need to do and you, you got to do it. So long plane flight, you got to play at 12 o'clock. You guys been playing at 8:15. I mean, what are the challenges this game this game you know presents? Yeah, that's a really long plane flight. So I mean, we just got to hydrate. It's going to be humid over there, I'm assuming. So that's what coach told us, but. We really got to hydrate really on the plane last week. What about just the early game time and, and being different and having to wake up, you know, at 7 o'clock or whatever to play? Yeah, this is our really first early game time in a while. Um, it's all the same, though. I mean, we're going to get up early, have the same amount of time before the game, so it should all be equal. Would you rather get up and play right away at, at you know, 10 a.m. Boise time, or would you like sit, do you like sitting around waiting all day to play? Or? I don't really like waiting around, but and I haven't had a really early game yet, so this is the, the first, so it should be interesting. What have you seen in UConn's defense? I know obviously you know, their coach came from Notre Dame, and it's you know obviously a pretty tough system. You know what have you seen when you look across the ball at them? Um, you know they're good. They're, they're, they obviously got some good guys. They're D one team, so they got some good guys. We're gonna look at some more tape and see if we can where we can exploit them. But they seem pretty decent, so we'll see. What about playing on grass? I don't just practice on grass. We don't play many games anymore. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean the grass is. I mean I feel like everyone feels like they're faster on grass, so we'll see. Um, but I like grass. I like the grass a lot more. What's kind of the narrative in the locker room? Jai's been doing this year when you're talking to your buddies in the locker room, like just 
What's going on with that? How well he's playing? Um, it's it's going well. You know, he's a great leader in the locker room. He, you need him to be too. You know, he's carrying the ball, carrying the ball a lot. Like last game, that was, that was a lot of carries. So, but uh, we're all we're all loving him up. You know, just keep him going. Keep his, uh, you know, that's, that's tough. To, all we can do really is just cheer him on. Do you think you can keep that that work type of workload the whole season, knowing the type of guy he is? Um, yeah. I mean. It's football, so of course he's going to get hurt a little bit. We got some other running backs in there who can help out too, and throwing the ball obviously is going to help help that too, help take the, the load off him. So maybe not as many guys in the box, so we'll see.